What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing one of the most underrated pseudo legendaries of all time. We got ourselves a Koma O team for ranked regulation each. Now, when it comes to this Pokemon in this format, it is actually pretty strong. This is due to two moves, body press and iron defense, allowing Koma O to boost his defense and do big time damage at the same time. Komo -O is a dragon and fighting type Pokemon with the steel terror type that we're rocking today, overcoat as its ability, leftovers as its item, and then like I already mentioned, we got body press and iron defense with throat chop and protect. Super dope Pokemon, cannot wait to use it. But other Pokemon on today's team feature a lot of different meta Pokemon. We got the triple starter combo, we got Rollaboom, Primarina, and Incineroar. Rillaboom and Incineroar faking out and doing their things. Primarina, a great special attacker with Haze. Ursuline is going to be a great Pokemon because obviously within Trick Room, it can hit like a truck. And then we got Whimscott for a nice little Tailwind support. This team's all around goaded. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, run out the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Komo. -O. First match on its way, and we got ourselves a slight issue. We're going up against Archer Luna, one of the best Pokemon for this format. Good thing we have Como O. I can hope, hopefully boost defense, drop a body press, try to take it out, but it is definitely going to be a tough one. Definitely going to be a tough one. But I do like Como O for the lead. We got to watch out for that Annihilate and Mousehole combo, which could definitely come out here and uh, play a big time factor in this matchup. So I'm gonna end up going Como O. I think I am gonna go Rillaboom here for the lead, just so we have a way of faking out early on trying to get after the match yeah i do like that and then from here we're gonna go ursuline how's your speed that's the real question that is the real question how is your speed 114 so you're actually a faster ursuline this could be great up against ursuline i might end up bringing this pokemon in here yeah i like it a lot so i'm gonna end up going ursuline and last but not least primarina or incineroar kind of lean towards primarina primarina is just a great pokemon all around yeah we're going primarina we got haste too, especially if like Archelodon starts to get out of hand where it's just like, okay, its stats are too crazy. We can haste it up if we need to. So we got a few different options, but Ursa Luna at 114 speed, that's really good. That is really good. Fast Pokemon can hit like a truck. We love it all around. So hopefully we get to use it in this matchup. Let's see who they end up throwing out. It is going to be the Mouse Hold and Annihilate combo. Definitely a scary little combo. We could go for Fake Out. They could see us going for Fake Out. I think for now, we are just going to go for that Iron Defense and try to boost our defense stats. Especially in the terrain with leftovers, it's just a simple play. I could try slice into Steel, but I don't really want to. I don't, I don't feel the need to. So I am just going to go into that, and I might U-turn out, or I could just go like Wood Hammer this slot. Or I could Wood Hammer this Annihilate down. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Wood Hammer straight into Annihilate. Let's try to do some damage. Let's try to do some damage. They definitely think we're going for Fake Out, right? That's gotta be a ghost terror on the mouse one. Is this a correct statement? Is Jeans making a correct statement? Looks like it. It looks like it. So they think we're going for fake out. We're not. We're simply just attacking. We're not going for fake out. You thought. You thought. Little ghost types. Double ghost type on the field. Beat up is going to fly out here. They're doing a little combo. Hopefully Iron Defense can come out here before Annihilate actually attacks. This could be definitely beneficial to us. Because like I said, we got leftovers. We got terrain. HP recovery could go crazy. And Rage Fist is going to actually fly first. Can you soak this, Komo? -O? You're pretty bulky. Awesome. Dope. We love that. Iron Defense is going to fly out here. Wood Hammer is going to fly into this Annihilate slot. And our best bet is just protecting here for Komo. -O, maybe attacking. But Wood Hammer doing great damage. Beautiful damage. Lovely damage. And Citrus Berry going to fly. So Citrus Berry going to come out here. He's going to get Terrain HP. Another Wood Hammer will KO it, which is nice. But a Rage Fist might KO us. Which is kind of... A tough position here. It's definitely a tough position. Unless Rillaboom could eat up a shot. It might be able to eat up a Rage Fist. Unless you're going to do it again. That's the real problem here. So I could just like swap to a fast Pokemon. But I don't think anybody's faster than their Annihilate. That's our problem. That is our problem. We're going to swap into uh, Ursuline here. So I'm gonna swap Rillaboom. I think I think he's gonna protect us protecting Konomo. -O. And I think that he just wants to go for a Rage Fist into this Rillaboom slot. So if I can predict his protection right, they might even go for another beat up just to boost this even more. He's going for following me. This one's quite simple. 
and Rage Fist is going to fly, and it's going to go into the Como slot. No, it is going to go in Ursulina, so we did make the right read there. Um, we could end up swapping Como if we want. I could end up protecting it again, because he is totally going to attack this slot. But I think our best option here is to just go into a, uh, a normal Terra. I go for another Protect. I could go Steel Terra here. I'm going to go for a Throw Chop. We're going to see if we can get some damage done. Could go for a Drain Punch. Drain Punch could get ugly, but I doubt he does. I think he wants to just attack this Komo. -O. I'm going to go for Double Protect. I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to Terrasalize Normal and just go for a uh, Hyper Voice here. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going for Double Protect. We're going for it. I'd rather go for the Double Protect and look for RNG instead of swapping and taking a Rage Fist from whoever he wants to throw out here. That's going to be my play. Going for double protect. A little bit of RNG luck. Hopefully on our side. Don't be afraid to go for double protects. It works sometimes. See? See what I'm saying? It works sometimes. Double protects work sometimes. Don't be afraid to go for it. Do not be afraid to go for it. Follow me. He's going to come out here. Chances are he's attacking Kodomo with that defense boost. And yep, there's a rage fist. Blocking it. Blocking it. Don't be afraid to go for double protects sometimes. Sometimes you need it. Sometimes you need it. So Hyper Voice now launches with the normal Terra. And that is doing almost enough damage we need to do a little bit more into that annihilate but i really like where we're sitting in this position in this position we can launch another hyper voice and ko both pokemon i could end up swapping como into like primarina the rage fist is just gonna do a lot of damage it really is so i go for the triple protect <laughs> that would be hilarious that would be hilarious i could just go into roll boom um Honestly, Primarina would be the better call, and we could save Como -O if I want to. But do I really need Como? -O? Not really. Like here, I'd rather have Rillaboom and and Primarina. Looking at the team, I mean Konamo could be good. Body press does a lot of damage, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe they swap here. I think we're better off just going for triple protect, but I'm going to attack this slot just in case they end up swapping. We probably are better off just going for triple protect, but he's just going to go for beat up here, and he's just looking to deal damage. <laughs> so he's going to go beat up into Ursaluna. Rage Fist and Eyelip is going to KO the Komo. -O. And then we're going to pick up a double KO. Is that a correct statement? Yeah, correct statement. Yeah, but I probably was better off just going for that triple protect, but it's whatever. It really is whatever. It really is whatever, but still, pulling off double protect is actually big time for us. Bought us some time, and now we get rid of this combo right here. And getting rid of Annihilate and uh, and Mousehold is just really big for us, so I'm actually glad that happened. So, Komo not doing much. It set up an Iron Fence, but it kind of sat on the field and worked as a distraction. Because they really want to get that Pokemon off the field, so I'll take that all day from Komo. Alright, cool. So, Ursula on the field. Normal Terror type is here. They got two final Pokemon. Um, did we just go Primarina here? Or do we go Robin for Fake Out? I'd rather save Rillaboom because terrain should be ending rather soon. So I'm going to go Primarina and then reset the terrain. So Rillaboom can thrive out with that. And they're going to go into Dragonite. So normal Terra, chances are that's coming out here, right? And Amoongus is also going to fly here. Alright, I see you. I feel you. I think we got to get rid of that. What's it called? First and foremost. I really do believe that we have to attack this Amoongus. But instead, I'm going to go for a Moonblast here just in case because we're not doing too much damage. And then, uh... Nice little Blood Moon coming out here from Ursaluna is a good call for us. So Dragonite's going to protect. He's looking to put somebody to sleep. I was going to double down to Amoongus, but like being not very effective, I was kind of sitting there like, ah, uh, it's kind of ugly. But how much damage Blood Moon doing? Stab, normal Terra, boost it, see you later. Not many Pokemon are surviving that shot. That's pretty much game. Turns into a 3v1. We got Pokemon pretty much at full HP. This Dragonite stands no chance. They do have Terra, though. They still have Terra, but come on, man. It, it, it ain't working well for you. It ain't, it's not looking good for you. Grassy Terrain's gone. I'm gonna rip another Moon Blast. On top of that, I'm gonna go into Hyper Voice. And they probably cancel match. So, wanna know to get things started? Wanna know to get things started? I'm feeling so good right now. In between matches, I'm listening to Butterfly Effect by Travis Scott. I'm going crazy. I love that song. Such a jam. Such an absolute jam. So, I'm hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped up. We're sitting wanna know. Hopping into our second match. They got Garchomp. They got Talonflame. Rillaboom, Primarina. Electabuzz, not Electabuzz. Actually, it is Electabuzz. I was thinking of Electifier, but it is Electabuzz with Golden Go. So, from here, they got a lot of physical attackers, and I would love to set up Iron Offense. So, Komo, -O, get on over here. 
you're going to be our lead. We could end up going in with Whimsicott if we want with the Covert Cloak. Not a bad call. Um, the only problem here is them getting off Brave Bird with Gale Wings before and So I'm going to go Rillaboom for our lead. I think Fake Outs are just a great call for us. And then we're going to bring Whimsicott late game. Or do we just target down with like Incineroar? Kind of do stuff from there. I definitely want Incineroar. But the question is, do I want to bring Whimsicott or do I want to bring like Prima Arena or Ursa Luna? And looking at the team, Whimsicott's not bad. I mean, you got Moonblast, don't you? You got Moonblast. I can I can deal with Whimsicott. I like having Whimsicott. That's the only problem. Like, I really wanted to lead Whimsicott just to set up Tailwind and kind of go from there. But if they do lead Talonflame, which is a likely scenario, they have Gale Wings and their speed is faster than mine. So they could just use Gale Wings Brave Bird and take out my Whimsicott before I even do anything. So I don't feel like dealing with that. I don't, I don't even want to risk it. So I'm just going to go Rillaboom here, have fake out opportunities. I know they can Gale Wings Brave Bird me, but at that point, I can fake it out beforehand. But they're going to go Rillaboom just like us. We're going to see who's grassy terrain flies, and honestly, I'm not even sure who's going to be. And I think this is... Boom, boom, boom. I think that's mine? Is that mine? I think that's mine. I think that's mine. So I think my roll boom is faster. If that's the case, I could just fake out him and then really start to get after it. I mean, you're decently fast roll boom. I'm going to go for iron defense here. And just fake out their roll boom. And try to just bulk up. Hopefully they protect the guard chomp. They do. Awesome. Awesome. It's huge. My fake out coming out here? It is. Beautiful. Awesome. So I get off a free iron offense here. That is massive, especially with two physical attackers on the board. That is really big for us. Sokomo oh, boosting up defenses. Robum's going to flinch. I could actually boost up again here. That wouldn't be a bad call for me. That wouldn't be a bad call, especially because I can do this and just go straight into Incineroar. But I'd rather U-turn pivot. I'd rather you turn pivot so we can get off some damage. So I'm going to go for another iron defense. I think that is my play. Or do I not get greedy with it? I don't think I should get greedy with it. I think we should actually just attack here. Because that's the one thing. Like, getting too greedy with a, with a, what's it called? With iron defense bulks or, like, stat boost bulks can get very annoying. So he's going to end up going into a sword stance here, which is totally fine. And body press is going to launch, and we are going to do really good damage. Rough skin going to take away a little bit of our, our damage or our HP. And U turn is going to pivot out and do great damage. So I can pivot into Incineroar here, which is actually really good for us. Lowering these guys' attacks. And I would think they want to go for a U turn into my Real Boom here. I could definitely see that happening. But I'm going to go Incineroar. I probably should have actually went Whimsicott. I probably actually should have went Whimsicott. So we're going to drop Real Boom's attack. Real Boom is going to end up going for a U turn. I should have went into Whimsicott here, even though I would have taken some damage for that. But I think here we could potentially go for another Iron Defense, depending on who they go into. Because so I could just fake out the Garchomp. They go into Talonflame. Talonflame comes out here. I gotta fake out the Talonflame. I gotta fake out the Talonflame. I gotta especially get rid of Gale Wings. You could be Cobra Cloak, though. You could be Cobra Cloak. Do so I just use my Terra here? I'm going to protect and go for a knockoff here. Garchomp protecting again. That's huge. This Garchomp is just protecting, protecting, protecting. That is huge. Protect going to come out from here from Komo'o. Chances are they're trying to rock like a Brave Bird or even a Tailwind here. Tailwind wouldn't make any sense. I'm trying to go for a will o which I don't really mind. I'm going to be able to get rid of its item as well. The knockoff launching. Bob, great damage all around. And I'm knocking off its Curve Cloak. So good thing I didn't fake out. Good thing I didn't fake out. Alright, so from here, we really want to look to get rid of this Garchomp. So I think we just double down into it at this point. Knock off and body press. Soundflame is looking a little scary, especially with like Will-O-Wisp. And he's going to land it this time. I mean, that's no big deal. I mean, we're still bulky. Body press should still do respectable damage. Garchomp most likely going for probably like a stomping tantrum. Yeah. And if it does KO in Sinora, which it might not. Oh, I forgot it was Sword Stance. I forgot how the Sword Sands boosted. But I think Como with Body Press could still KO here. Can he get the job done? Really? Really? Is, is this what we're doing here? Is this what we're doing? 
this how we're playing this game? Is this how we're playing? Is, it, is this what we're doing now? <laughs> is this what we're doing now? Getting out of hand. Getting real out of hand. Alright, let's set up a Tailwind for the rest of the squad. Let's set up a Tailwind. That, that sucks, man. Let's set up a Tailwind, though. So from here, we're going to go Tailwind. There is a chance that they go for Tailwind. I'm hoping Throat Chop could... Hmm. Actually, throw, I mean, we could just go body press here. So I'm going to go Tailwind. I still have Terra, which is really good. I'm kind of saving it. Kind of saving it. So do they, though. Throat Chop's just going to... This thing's a protect machine. This thing's a protect machine. So he ends up protecting there. Tailwind's going to fly. I would think that their Talon Flame is going to go for Tailwind here as well. And is this a true statement, or are you just ripping like a brave bird here? You're gonna go for Tailwind. So Tailwind for Tailwind flies out here. All right, that's fair. That's fair news. And we are going to get rid of the Guard Chomp this turn. I could Terrasilize Worms Caught here, but we have to double down into into Guard Chomp. I'd rather save my Terra for my uh my Roll Boom. Right? You have Poison Network. So I was gonna say you probably have Fire. All right, yeah. So we'll double down to this Guard Chomp. We will get rid of it this turn. With the Moon Blast, they still have a lot of Pokemon left on the field. Ends up withdrawing Garchomp. Who are you going to go into? Who's taking this plus two Body Press and this Moon Blast? It is going to be Rillaboom. Rillaboom's low enough HP where I think we should be able to KO it. Plus, he's just giving us terrain again, which is good news for Como oh, to keep it on the field for a little longer. Brave Bird is going to launch out Speed Us. That's fine. We're going to die out there. You're going to take some recoil. And I still feel as I can definitely win this game. I really do. Recoil is going to actually KO you, right? Is it a KO? It is. That's big. That's big. So I'll take that trade all day. The Tailwind's on the field. We still have Terra. Body Press going through launch here. How much damage are we doing here? Not enough. Close, though. Close, though. Depending on who they go into. I might just go for another Iron Defense to start bulking us up. Might start beefing us up. Because I get to bring out my Rillaboom, and I can fake out their Rillaboom this turn. Which is really good news for us. So if they go back into Guard Chomp, which they do. Which they do... I don't want to change my typing at all. I like my typing here. I can just set up another iron defense. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bulk up a little bit here. Iron defense. I'm gonna go for fake out. We're gonna get after it. So I still have Terra. They still have Terra as well. Low HP on both Pokemon. I'm gonna go for another iron defense. I know my Como -O is burned, but that fake out is KO, which is huge. But bulking this bad boy up is really good for us. So there's that. Dragon Claw is gonna launch. We should soak this all day long. Bulky boy right now. Bulky boy. Iron Defense flies out here again. We're plus four on, on the fence right now. Plus four on the fence. So I can Grassy Guide to finish off the Garchomp all day. Let's see who they throw out their as their final Pokemon. But just a ton of HP getting back from Como. -O. Luckily, like, if they didn't burn us, this Como -O would just be ripping through. It really would. Still doing great. Alright, so final Pokemon, it could be Golden Go, which ee, that could be detrimental to us, and it is Golden Go. Golden Go comes out here. We do have Throw Chop ready to roll, and I believe Komo -O is faster. Is that a right? Is that a. Hmm, maybe not. I think going Steel Terror is going to be our play. I'm going to rip to look to rip a Throw Chop here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for Grass Guy just to outspeed this uh, Garchomp. There probably is a hot chance that Garchomp protects here. This thing has been protecting all day long, and it's kind of getting out of hand. But I'm going to end up Terrasilating Como. I know it's not good for up against Garchomp, but if I can just, like, Grass Guy, it and KO it. Should be sitting in a relatively okay position. But I wonder if they're going to Terrasilize. Garchomp, again, protecting. Just, this is just what it's doing all day. It's an all-day kind of kind of situation here. Grass Guy is going to get blocked. And they're going to go for a Make It Rain. So good Terra on all, our end. Make It Rain is still doing a huge chunk of damage. They are lowering their special attack, which is good. And Throw Chop is going to launch and do mediocre damage. So more HP recovery comes out here. I'm hoping Grass Guy could just KO. And then I could just protect Como -O here. And get back HP. And I'm hoping Make It Rain will not, or whatever they have to offer, will not KO Rillaboom. Because they are minus one now. I got some burn damage, chip damage away. Tailwinds are finally gone. It doesn't even matter. They just evened out the field. And from here, we are just going to simply protect and go for a grassy god. All right. Let's see how this one plays. 
And we'll finally see a Terra, and I think this Terra is going to end us. I think it's going to be a nice little, like, Steel Terra into Garchomp, or Fire Terra, even. Yeah. GG's. GG, solid match all around. That Golden Go was really, like, the detriment here. I even said I was just like, we should be fine as long as it's not Golden Go, and then Golden Go pops out here. Kind of does me dirty. Grass Glide, there's no shot it's going to even KO here. I'd be super surprised if it does. Yeah, no. Doesn't KO. Great game. Rough Skin's going to deal damage. He's going to probably go for a Stomp Tantrum. Yep. We're going to block it, and then make it rain. Probably going to fly out here and finish this off. Unless Rillaboom can somehow soak this. It might be able to soak this. Let's see. Rillaboom. Actually, Rough Skin damage. I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot. Rough Skin kind of did this dirty. And now that's the game. Your special attack is slow. We don't outspeed you. He can go for Stop and Catch him. We're just going to run this one. Let Como -O live. But solid match all around. I feel like Como -O got boosted really well. If they didn't Will O Wisp us, Como -O probably would have just swept out this match. Because Third Chop would have been doing way more damage. Would have taken out the Guard Chop like ages ago. Everything would have worked perfect. But hey, we're sitting one and one. Let's go hop to our third and final. Final match coming at you guys, going up against Magmar. Magmar is such a good Pokemon. They also have Rillaboom just like us, Primarina just like us. They got King Gambit to deal with Intimidate users. Then they got Dragapult and Sneasler. So chances are, it's Grassy Seed Sneasler. We're going to have to find a way to deal with that. And I kind of just want to go into Incineroar. But if I give King Gambit that Defiant boost, things can get ugly. So instead, I'm going to go Como, -O, look to pop her Defense boost. Um, I could go in the Rillaboom of our own, which is actually not that bad. But if they do lead Sneasler... Can get a little ugly. Could definitely get a little ugly. I could Terrasilize into Poison. That's not shabby. A little Terra Poison action. I actually kind of like that. I do kind of like that. I definitely want Incineroar. I gotta bring it out at the right time, though. And last but not least, we are gonna go Primarina of our own. So we're going in with the triple starters. Looking to rip up with that. They do have a good speed. I could go with Tailwind. Kind of take control, but... Instead, we're going with the triple starters. We're looking just to fake out our way to victory. Boost up Como -O and body press away. All right. I like it. I'm down for it. Seems pretty cool for us. But again, Sneasler, Roll Boom. A little bit of an issue. I think we can work around it. I really do. I really do. Hopefully, they just don't lead it. Let's just make it easy for ourselves. They could end up leading like Dragapult. Dragapult's a scary little customer. It's going to be Magmar and Sneasler. Okay, so I mean, they could just hard swap into... They could just hard swap into Rillaboom if they want to. But, uh, you know, I'm setting the terrain already for them. <laughs> so, they don't have to swap into Rillaboom. So, no seeds, actually. No seeds at all. I'm still going to go for this Iron Defense. And I am, if I can, just fake out... I'm going to fake out the Magmar, because if he's faking out anybody, it's going to be like Como, -O and you're going to outspeed first. So, I'd rather just fake out the Magmar. And just do it from there. And now he's going to fake out that, so that's fine by me. That's fine. You get a crit on that, and that actually did some good damage. <laughs> Iron Defense going to fly through here. We're sitting plus two already on the fence. And we could just start body pressing away. And he's going to throw will o -Wisp. Just like, what was it, match number two? will o -Wisp burning me up. will o -Wisp doing me dirty. So the burns are flying. Um, He probably wants to go for a burn into this slot. Uh, Rillaboom should outspeed Magmar, but I could see like a Dire Claw flying through here. I'm going to go for another Iron Defense, and I'm just going to lower attack here with Incineroar. I can't, I can't have two Pokemon be burned, so I'm going to get on out here, go into Incineroar, and drop some attack. Incineroar out here, intimidating, which is beautiful. And Follow Me is going to fly out here from Magmar. That's fine. Go ahead. Be my guest. Follow Me out on the field. Dire Claw is going to launch gonna do some damage what is this what what type of rng is that please somebody tell me please be my guest i'm asleep from a dire claw i have never seen that i know it could do that i know it can do that but i have never seen it in my life and now i'm seeing this out my face we're gonna go for another iron defense we're bulking up we're going plus we're going plus six we're going plus six that is that is absurd. That is absurd. Of course, we'll, we'll try to go for fake out, but that is just that is just absurd. That is just absurd. There's just no need for that. There really is no need for that. Really, just no need for that. You're gonna close combat me now. I survived though. I survived, which is great news. Thank you to intimidate. Now I'm sitting here plus six iron defense. 
Let the body presses fly. Let him fly. Let him fly. That is crazy. Do I keep my Incineroar? <clears throat> I could just hard swap into like Primarina here. We're just gonna go for body press. I gotta go for another close combat. I really do. I'd rather just let my Incineroar die. I'm not gonna see your sugarcoat it. We're gonna go for knock off. Magmar protects. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What what is what am I playing right now? What am I playing? What am I playing? What am I playing? This is so bad. This is real ugly. The die like RNG does me dirty sometimes, but don't put me to sleep with a dire claw. Please don't. I, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. So Primarina's gonna come out here for us. Um I could end up thrasalizing it, or I could just go back into World Moon for fake out purposes. Um Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So I'm gonna fake out the Sneasler. And I'm just gonna go into body press into Magmar. See how much damage that can actually do. And Sneasler's just gonna simply protect, which is a smart play. How much damage is body press doing? Are you where are you will whisper me? Magmar goes for double protect. Double protect. Which is fine, so I get off a free body press. How much damage is this doing? I know I'm burned, but I'm plus six on defense. Like, come on. This guy do some damage. Alright, that's respectable. I that's respect right there. That is respect. So I gotta watch out for Dire Claw. Um, I could Terrasalize into Poison type. Which I probably want to be my play. And who's faster? Como -O should be faster. I might just swap in the Primarina, but that wouldn't be good either. That wouldn't be good either. Dire Claw is scary, man. I'm gonna Thrasalize Poison E turn pivot. Which all is Magmar? Is this gonna be Ghost Dragapult? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nice call. The Dragapult comes out of here. Things are getting real ugly now, but I'm able to U turn pivot into Primarina, which is actually good news for us. Actually, really good news for us. So we'll use our Terra here. I can't believe my Incineroar got put to sleep. Dire Claw does launch. Good call on RN doing negative 5 damage. What is going on? What is going on? What is this game? What are we like? What? Who made this? Whoever made this needs to go into the coding and fix this. This is terrible. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I feel bad for the Pokemon company. This is very embarrassing. They gotta be better. They simply gotta be better. We're going for body pressing the Sneasler now. Um, I, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I seriously don't know what to do. I'm gonna go into Primarina, I guess. Oh my lord. So bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. I can't get swept though. We have, we have to, we have to figure out a way to pick up a KO here. We have to figure out a way to pick up a KO. Is this gonna be Dragon Terra? What are you, what are you trash into? It is gonna be Dragon Terra, so chances are you might even be able to. There's no way you can KO, KO my Como. Oh, plus six on defense. I know both shots are gonna fly into this slot. But how much damage is it doing? All right, we can we can bulk up a little bit. We can bulk up a good bit. And you're still dire claw in this slot? What it, for what reason? For what reason are you dire and you get a crit? For what reason are you dire clawing this slot? It makes no sense to me. Makes zero sense to me. Body press launches. Doing great damage. Alright, we gotta pick up a KO. We gotta pick up at least one KO here. We gotta pick up at least one KO here. We gotta pick up at least one KO. So I get to bring back out Rillaboom. I can't even fake out because I'm asleep. And if I protect Como, uh, we just lose.
You gotta go for body press here. And I guess I'll go for Grace Scott. Chance are you just protect Sneezo. I don't even know. I, I know I'm losing this one already. This is just a pain in the neck, man. I just have to pick up a KO. I just have to be able to pick up a KO. He ends up withdrawing Sneezo. He's looking for the sweep here. He's not playing around. Look, he's not playing around. Body press should KO Magmar, though. Which is good news. Magmar's gonna come out here. And Robum is gonna be slumped. So your choice, man, you're definitely going for Dragon Darts again, correct? Yeah, so we're not gonna get swept, which is gorgeous, unless you crit my Como over here. Which could get real ugly. Thank you. Thank you for not doing that. Other one's gonna fly in the roll room. We don't get swept. That's all I wanted here. But somebody let me know in the comments. How like is this the worst RNG you guys seen? Because this is this is brutal for me. This is real brutal for me. I can't protect either, because Dragon Darts is just a thing. But RNG was ridiculous here. Absolutely absurd. Absurd! They can bring back out Sneasel, they can fake me out again. They got Dragon Darts ready to win the game. And I don't have Protect on my Robum. That's the problem with Dragon Darts. Like, if you Protect one Pokemon, your other Pokemon's just taking an insane amount of damage. But Sneasel's gonna come back out here. He's gonna fake out. Probably Komo, -O, if I had to guess. And I gotta give it at least a try. Actually, I mean, I can Grassy Guide. We're gonna go for Grassy Guide. Fake out in that slot. That's fine. Hold up. Just give me a chance. I'm slumped. I can't, I can't even wake up. I can't even wake up. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Dragon Dark's gonna get rid of Robo. Komo -Oh might actually survive this. But man, oh man. I feel like we, we actually played this one as good as we possibly could. I actually put up a solid fight. Like, if I... It was basically a 2v4. I didn't use Rob I barely used Robum at all. I barely used Incineroar. Oh, I didn't even use Incineroar. I just used Incineroar for Intimidate. Just sleeps going crazy. I had a plus 6 Komo -O that I'm pretty much not able to use because sleeps going crazy. And they burned me. Burn was a good play. I'll give it I'll give him that one. But sleeps on Dire Claw. At least let it be Spore. I'm just gonna run this one. We go one and two. So guys, I actually just looked up the RNG on Dire Claw, and it has a 50% chance of either paralyzing, poisoning, or putting a Pokemon to sleep. So it has a 50% chance to land one of those, and then it has probably a 33% chance to get sleep. So that RNG is crazy on one hit, but back-to-back -back sleeps on a Dire Claw is diabolical. That is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. But still, this team was absolutely amazing. I love Konomo today, setting it up with Iron Defense, doing big time damage with Body Press. It kind of sucks the teams that we went up against. We got burned twice with Konomo, but again, still doing great damage all around. And this team was still phenomenal. So if you guys want to rent it, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.